This is one of the best live sets I've ever heard from this band. Welcome classic rock fans to a video where I get to unbox and review the new 17 disc set from the Grateful Dead. This was from 1973, just a few months after the death of Pigpen and about a year before those wonderful Wall of Sound concerts where, of course, the uh, genius that is Owsley Stanley designed a, a sound system where there would be no distortion. Now these sets are limited to just 10,000. Just 10,000, that's not a lot. So if you want to get one, I suggest you do so quickly. I will put a purchasing link just below this video. You can only buy them from uh, the Grateful Dead's actual website. There is a four CD version if you want a kind of slimmer version of this set, as well as a, an eight a disc vinyl box set as well. This is a 17 disc set which comprises of the band sets in San Francisco, Santa Barbara and Washington DC. As Ray Robertson says, and I'm quoting at length, as a few of the shows in the Here Comes Sunshine box set attest, it wasn't unusual for a 1973 concert to exceed four hours. And within the shows themselves are nearly nightly examples of hour-long orgies of tune-linked songcraft and juicy jamming. There's no doubt that these shows from Spring 73 are, are transformative for this band and are much sought after for anybody's uh, tape collection. What is fascinating about these concerts is that they would road test some of the material they would go on to record for their Wake of the Flood album. I think it was their first studio album in about three years. Uh, including early live versions of Mississippi Half Step to Lou, Road Jimmy, Stella Blue, Eyes of the World and the set's namesake of course. Here comes the sunshine and the playing and the interaction just so fluid and just so natural on these sets. Anyway, let's unbox it shall we? So here we are, here's the front of the box at the beautiful Grateful Dead motif and the nice gold box as well as this embossed purple lining. Let's get the cellophane off it shall we? So there we are, the quality is evident once you take the um, cellophane off it. The build quality and texture of it is just fantastic. Really sturdy as well. This comes out like that. So you get the actual slip case, you can call it that. And there's the box of the Grateful Dead goodies. So this is the first one out of the set recorded in Iowa. Again, beautiful design. It's like a, almost A5. A bit bigger than that, of course, it's a square. More Grateful Dead uh, patterning there. And that opens up like this. And we get the discs. Can't even hold them properly, there you go. And the second disc. pull these items out it's a fabulous sticker which I don't think anyone in their right mind to put anywhere just keep it in the set and this lovely booklet lots of text and information Of course, these sets um, uh, uh, feature Donna and Keith, who were brought in, uh, I think, to fill the space left by uh, the demise of Pigpen. And this is a, a book that just opens up like this. And more discs, disc three and four, which have worked their way loose. This one's Santa Barbara, again similar design and similar setup opens up to reveal the discs. 
as such, and another pull out for pamphlet. That gives you more information about that specific show. San Francisco. Again, same setup. Nice little book that gives you lots of detailed information about that specific live set, which have been uh, archived and written by some real dead enthusiasts. Deadographers, can we say that? Deadographers? Uh, Washington, D.C. I think you get the picture. Another one from Washington. Sorry about the noise of the plane going over there. The discs have dropped out. Pop that back in. And there's your little pamphlet for more information about that this specific gig. Let me get this wonderful, wonderful poster. Beautiful. This one will be staying in my set. It will not be going anywhere. I certainly won't be putting it on the wall. What you do with yours is your business, of course. There, if we get the box itself, I've taken it out already, but the sets come wrapped up in this of a scarf, a material fabric scarf, for want of a better word, but it all adds um, a kind of lavishness to this set. So there you go, let's put it all back together anyway. So there we are, the lavish Here Comes the Sunshine 17 disc set from 1973 dates, just after the, um, the loss of pig pen, of course. Uh, that's my summer sorted, quite frankly. Well, I've listened to a little bit of this set. I'm just absolutely blown away by these uh, live recordings. They're absolutely fabulous. There's just a sense of authenticity about them, I, for want of a better word. But uh, this is just, it starts off beautifully with Promised Land. Uh, I love the box, version of Box of Rain on here, but I think you've heard that already. I think that's been um, issued, uh, kind of pre-release, give you a taster. Uh, but Loser is wonderful, that bluesy guitar at the start of that. But of course, uh, one of my favourites always in a, a dead set is the, the, the funky Start to China Cat Sunflower. And this boasts it's a 30 minute version of playing in the band. We have some wonderful jamming here. And of course, finishing, rounding the whole thing up with uh, a, almost a 15 minute version of trucking and uh, Sugar Magnolia, which goes on for about 10 minutes. Uh, this is a, a wonderful set to begin with. I cannot wait to listen to the rest of it. Anyway, you've been watching an unboxing and um, slight review by Classic Ambrose on the new wonderful 17-disc set. What I'd like to know is, do you intend to buy this? Uh, what is your opinion of this set? Or are you going to go for the uh, slimmed down version, the 4CD version? Anyway, leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you all. I'll just leave you with my closing salvo, which is I hope you're well. I hope you're staying safe. More importantly, that you keep listening. Or I should say, keep on trucking.